Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ken and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. Get started. Um, if you're not subscribed and you like the content, don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more planner content. So first things first is these pouches. Now, if you are new to my channel, you may not know my love affair and obsession with pouches, all things pouches, all things contained. And I used to get, and I, I'm saying used to, in full transparency, I have a lot of pouches. I probably have over 20 pouches from various places. And I love pouches. Traditionally, I loved pouches because I kept my planner supplies in there. Now, this one is from Tory Burch. And I use these. I interchange them, use them as like makeup bag pouches and also planner pouches. But what I was finding is that um, I couldn't really see what I had. And I was just kind of going from pouch to pouch trying to fit things in and I couldn't find something and when I like to plan sometimes I like to plan on the go in a hurry and this just wasn't working for me so I regret buying all of these things now instead what I do prefer are these now this is a, a recent acquisition but these are just some containers little plastic containers that i've gotten from various dollar stores in my area and i love the fact that there are these little snap cases and i keep my stickers in them and i have a bunch of these they were really really affordable and i love the fact that they're slim and streamlined i can just put them in my bag or my planner pouch planner cases now i don't carry all of these and i know you're like well, those looks cumbersome cat well what i do is i take out the planners that i know i'm going to be using for the week pop them in here and then i just carry this little case with me in my bag and i'm good to go i don't need to fumble with a bunch of different pouches i just kind of streamline my my planning like that and i love these. um if i have a showcase already but it is the Saraza. i know i can't believe i'm saying this forgive me julie's plans <laughs> She's the one who introduced me to this brand, and it's the Zebra Saraza Clip Pen. Now, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Zebra Pens. Oh my gosh, I love Zebra Pens. But the reason why I regret buying this is because I found something that works a little bit better for me. The, thing, the reason why I don't like these is because for me, I am a hard writer. So when I write things, I leave an imprint in the page. I'm very, I'm pressing very hard. And I find that because of my writing style, um, this skips ink. So whether it's a 0.5 or the 0.7 that I have, sometimes it skips the ink on the page and that really is frustrating. Instead, what I've been preferring is this pen. Now this is the Uniball, I'll put the exact name on the screen for you. And this was a recommendation from, oh, it's the Uniball one in the 0 0.7. Uh, made in Japan, love this pen. And I actually got this recommendation from one of my uh, Instagram followers she, and friends. She's wonderful, fellow teacher, shout out to you girl. <laughs> and um, I will link her account on the screen. She introduced me to this pen and I have not looked back. And it is such a, this is a new, a brand new one, but um, the one I have is in my desk at school. And I love the fact that it's a smooth writing. It doesn't skip. Um, and it's just such a great little pen and it clips onto your planner really nicely and it's just stylus and chic. And yeah, I've been really loving this Uniball One pen. Next thing on the list, um, oh, one thing I regret buying are all the planners. Okay, and when I say all the planners, I mean all the planners. Now this is a planner I got at um, Winners and I loved it. I The cover got me. It was black girl magic and all that kind of stuff, you know, through and through. And I love the fact that it was undated. I love the fact that it was, you know, just a great planner. Now I regret buying it because I don't need another planner. <laughs> I don't, I don't need another planner. But I saw this, I, I fell in love with it, but I didn't really use it. I love the cover, but I wish it was a notebook instead of a planner. And I would, I think I would use it more. So, you know, my message to you folks is you don't need all the planners. You, you really don't. You just need a planner that works for you and call it a day. Um, and lastly, I cannot believe I'm showing you this because for the last year I've been talking about this planner non-stop and it is this the hobonichi cousin 
I cannot believe, I cannot believe we're here, folks. I can't believe I'm telling you that I regret buying the Hobonichi cousin. Yikes. Um, here's the thing. I absolutely love this planner. I do. I really do. Um, why I love it? Because it's comprehensive. It has monthly views. Um, it has weekly views in there that I enjoy decorating. Lots of kits to help me decorate it. It also has um, more weeklies and it has um, the the dailies, which I love too. I love having a comprehensive planner that has all the things. Now here's where I regret buying this. Um, one, the dailies, I don't like having dates on pages. Um, I just feel pressure to fill up the pages even though um, I may not have something to write that day, etc. Um, I also don't like all of the the quotes and things like that here. I rather put my own quotes um, in here rather than have um, these like imprinted quotes in the planner. The planner. I like something a little bit more streamlined. I'm finding this year. Now, am I saying this is a bad planner? Absolutely not. Am I telling you not to buy it? Absolutely not. I just wish I had discovered this planner instead. Now this is the Sterling Inc. Common Planner. And although I heard about it in the planner community, I had no idea what kind of planner I was getting myself into. This is such a great planner. I love the fact that the, the cover is nice. It's very, very muted, streamlined, um, not a lot of like no quotes and that the pages are not numbered. So there's some versatility in there and you have more freedom to decorate and journal and just do more fun things with it without it feeling so much like a planner planner. I love the fact that this can be, I can journal in it, I can plan in it, I can chronicle things and it just makes sense for me. It has all the components of the Hobonichi without all the, the extra color, extra quotes, etc. And so I have been loving their Sterling Ink and I, I, I can't believe I'm saying I regret buying this. I, I regret it in the fact that I, I wish I would have bought this instead of this, but I also love this as well, if that makes any sense. So there you have it, folks. Another edition of Stuff I Regret Buying um, for you folks. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm always here to um, showcase my opinions on things in hopes that it helps you save some time and some money in your planning to make your planning life a little bit more peaceful. So, um, and calming as well, because I mean, we all are striving for that calm life. So thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to, um, you know, comment down below and let me know how you're doing, what's good. I would love to hear what you regret buying um, so we can all help each other save a little dough Ray me. <laughs> All right, friends, thank you so, so much for watching. And until the next time, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next planner video. Bye bye, planner peeps. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of